Warning, the following reading contains content that some listeners may find disturbing. Listener discretion is advised. It was a chilly night as an owl flew in the sky looking for something to fill his belly with. The creature had been hungry all day, but didn't have much luck looking for a meal. It was closing in on an area in the forest but it then got this strange feeling and began to feel as if something was watching it fly. A danger radar went off in the creature's head and it quickly changed its flight path, not daring to look back. Meanwhile, a young mare sat by the fire on a large log. Above the fire was a large pot that was cooking soup. It boiled and the scent from the soup was making the mare hungry. Sweet Celestia, that smells good. She said, but she didn't want to eat until her cold friend came back. He told her that he was going to get some firewood, but he didn't come back yet, and she began to worry. Where is he? She asked and stood up. Suddenly, she heard a branch snap and looked over. Ferris, is that you? She called out again, and there was no response. Take it easy, Rose. There's nothing to be afraid of. She said, calming herself down. She sat back down and joined the night until she heard what sounded like hoofsteps crunching on leaves. Ferris? She called out in the direction the hoofsteps were coming from. Suddenly, they stopped and everything went silent. Ferris, I swear to Celestia, if you're trying to scare me. She said, but there was no response. Come on, this isn't funny. She said, getting upset. Suddenly, she heard giggling. <laughs> It didn't sound like it was coming from a pony, and it was very creepy. What was that? She asked, now getting scared. Delicious looking meat. The voice said, and Rosa's eyes widened. Ferris, if that's you, it's not funny. She said, then there was silence again. A minute later, Rosa's horn glowed as a flashlight, and she began walking, searching for Barris. As she walked, she heard hoofsteps from behind her. Startled, she turned around and saw that no pony was there. She wanted to call Barris's name again, but something stopped her from doing so. It's just your imagination. It's just your imagination. She assured herself, then she turned around and continued walking. A while later, she saw a tree that had something red on it. Confused, she walked towards it. As she got closer, she began to realize it was blood. Fresh blood. She gasped and covered her mouth in horror at what she saw. So many questions ran through her mind. Whose blood is this? Could it be Barris's blood? Why was there blood? She took a step back and felt something under her hoof. It was gooey and wet, causing her to look down quickly. Her eyes widened in terror at what she saw. She had stepped on a heart that was now squished by her hoof. She began to shake in horror and to make things worse, something hit her muzzle. What? She said and rubbed her muzzle with her other hoof. She saw it was blood and her eyes widened. Something in her gut told her to look up and when she did, she screamed in horror. (coughs) There above, hanging by his large intestine, was her cult friend's headless corpse. Most of his insides were missing and he was still losing a lot of blood. Rose began to cry in agony, very heartbroken. Who could have done this? Why did they do it? Suddenly, there was laughter. (laughs) It didn't sound like a pony at all. Who's there? Rose said, still crying, but very scared. Suddenly, she felt a very strange presence behind her. She turned around and saw she was face to face with... A white pony? However, this pony looked very strange. It had no tail, mane, nor eyes, but it did have razor-sharp teeth and he was very tall. Possibly taller than Princess Celestia. Rose's eyes widened as the pony looked down at her with a creepy smile. Before she could react, it grabbed her and licked its lips. Rose knew where this was going and tried to get free, 
but the creature's hold was too tight. Without warning, the creature bit her at the neck, tearing off some of her needed flesh. She screamed in pain and agony, still trying to get free from the pony's grip. So sweet, so delicious, the pony said and was about to take another bite until it rose to the magic glass to the creature's face. <laughs> the creature roared, driving her in pain. She got up as quickly as she could and ran. She didn't care where she ran, just as long as she could escape that damn creature. She ran past the campsite and onto the other side of the forest. Despite that she was getting tired, she didn't stop until she saw what looked like a cottage. She quickly ran to it and banged on the door, hoping someone would open it. Help! Help me, please! She cried, but no one answered. Please! She begged, continuing to bang on the door. Suddenly, without warning, something hit her on the head with full force. Her vision blurred and she collapsed on the ground, blood running down her head. Despite her vision being blurry, she could see the creature looking down at her with that same creepy smile. She wanted to get up and run, but she couldn't. The creature picked her up and slammed her against the cottage multiple times, breaking a few bones in her body. She was in intense pain, but there was nothing she could do. The creature then lifted her up higher, looking at her belly. Without warning, it bit into her belly, tearing off the flesh. Blood gushing and her insides beginning to hang out. The creature began to feast on her large intestine and slurped it up as if it were slurping noodles. It chewed and swallowed them. Licking its lips, it wanted to taste more of her. The creature began eating, her bones crunching every time it chewed. Rose soon died from the blood loss and lack of organs. All that was left of her was her head until the creature crushed it with his strong hoof. It licked the blood off his lips and walked away into the night.